In this video, we will import a pre-trained ResNet 50 TensorFlow Keras model that classifies images and run the same model in MATLAB without retraining it. There are many advantages to integrating TensorFlow Keras models into MATLAB. You can collaborate with team members who use Keras with the TensorFlow backend. You can access the latest research and be able to use MATLAB's visualizations. Bringing Keras models in MATLAB also allows you to generate CUDA code directly from MATLAB code for embedded deployment, which is much faster. I will create a script here to import the pre-trained Keras model now. You need to go to add-ons and download and install the TensorFlow Keras importer in order to import models. I have already downloaded and installed this importer. There are two ways in which you can save your TensorFlow Keras model to be imported into MATLAB. Using the H5 file format will allow you to bring in the layers and weights into MATLAB as I will do here. Saving the file in the JSON file format will not bring in the layers and weights. It will just import the network architecture. You can then train the layers in the network again. I will now import the Keras file of the ResNet model into MATLAB. We will use the class names parameter to specify names of the output classes. To import the file, we simply call the import Keras network command. After importing the network, we can visualize it using the deep learning network analyzer add-on. I will use the analyze network command to study the layers, weights, and architecture of the imported network. Let's now classify an image of peppers to make sure that our model works. Here, we will first resize the image and then classify it. As we can see, the pre-trained network is able to correctly classify the image. Models like GoogleNet, VGG16, VGG19, Inception V3, etc. can be imported directly using the TensorFlow Keras importer. There are certain models that have layers that are not currently supported in MATLAB. Let's look at an example of importing models with unsupported layers in MATLAB. The Gaussian layers in the model here are not supported. When you import a model with unsupported layers in MATLAB, the entire architecture of the model is imported and the unsupported layer is replaced by a placeholder layer. The import Keras layers command can be used to bring in models with unsupported layers. You can thus avoid the trouble of recreating very large and complex models. You can visualize the imported layers and study the properties of the placeholder layers. You can also study the Keras configuration of these layers. The specific layers can be recreated in MATLAB or substituted with a custom layer. Using TensorFlow Keras Importer allows you to use MATLAB for the entire deep learning workflow and achieve fast deployment speeds for pre-trained models.